Hey again, beauties. So in continuing, you know, as it regards the leader of the opposition, Mark Golding's speech today at the arena, you know, for the People's National Party. And as I had indicated, there are three fundamental points that he had made that I am very pleased with, very proud of, you know, getting blue collar workers, should they come in government, that is he's talking about, you know, blue collar workers, to become millionaires based on the right investments and other, you know, aids or whatever it is that they would get. You also indicated, um, you quoted the very figure that I've been thinking about, you know, uh, moving the income tax threshold from 1.5 million to $3 million. You know, that's a fair amount. And early childhood education, you know, really focusing on that because if you get them very young at the appliable, very teachable age, you know, which is really zero to seven and in truth and in fact, zero to 12, you know, but zero to seven, let's start there first, you know, solidify the zero to seven and then move up to 12, you know, and uh, I'm not sure if you had mentioned critical, well, you did, you know, somewhere along in the speech about critical thinking skills, because that's lacking in our country today those were three fundamental areas notwithstanding crime and violence is at an all high over 40 percent recidivism rate which is bad it means that there is no transformation it means that people are changing for the worse they're not getting better they're not improving you know when i look at the roads and i'm not surprised that the recidivism meaning people going back into the prisons and the jail cells when, you, when you're on the road and should you accidentally or even, I don't want to say deliberately, but perhaps deliberately bad drive somebody and they, how they respond and react, it is awful. When we see men not treating the vulnerable groups, women and children with respect, with honor, with gentility, it is indicative that leadership is poor. You also mentioned, Mr. Mark Golding, something that is fundamental, that people are paid poorly. When I say it, some people are telling me, no, I'm telling you, we Jamaicans in general are paid poorly, especially the public sector workers. Many times, some of them, they go to the supermarkets and they have to take the very cheap things they have to take a lot of tin things because they can't afford you know the good meat kind or the jasmine rice sometimes you know they have to take the bulk one that tastes horrible you know and back in the day they never used to taste so bad i don't know what has happened it is terrible and they look bad when you cook them too no matter how you wash it and you know it it is just unfathomable to say the very least to see in this 21st century, this quantum era that people seem as if they're in the Flintstone era, not modernized. The salaries are very archaic. Jacob would reject those salaries. J Job would have re rejected that, you know, that's and the reason why I mentioned Job. Job is the oldest book in the Bible. Some people don't know that because of how the book is organized, you know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and so on. Judges going on and going on, Joshua, and what have you. So because of that, they think it started just Adam and Eve, then you move into Abraham, you know, and, you know, Melchizedek and blah, 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 blah. Not, no. So, with all of that being said, and, you know, you talk about some fundamental issues. And the speech was a bit long, though, to be honest with you. You know, I said to myself, I, I was doing something, so I couldn't even jot down the points. I had to just, you know, just kind of focus and say, let me get the fundamental ones in my muscle memory. Hopefully I won't forget. Um, and when I get to settle down, I will vlog on same. One of the things, though, you know, I will tell you that I'm a little wary of, not fearful, Fear is not of God. Is that sometimes politicians will speak. They will talk big. As I said, they will sell sand to the Arabs. They will sell salt to slugs. They will sell salt to snails. And they bite. And when you look empty, they do or they do to the they do to the slug what salts what salts sorry do you know salt sorry does to slugs or does to snails. And, you know, obviously the Arabs don't need sand based on where they live and all of that. So, um, however, in, in, in your favor, you know, based on your own heritage, your ancestry, I mean, 
so I suppose which riches, if you want to call it that way, wealth being well off has already passed down to you. You would have multiplied on the basis of your own educational attainment and your brilliance and so on and your accol accolades. You really, as in your own words, you don't really need government money because you're okay financially, more than okay financially. So with that, you don't really have corruption hanging over your head like many of the others, I suppose. I suppose, you know, um, I make sure to put in that clause lest I'm told that I'm calling politicians corrupt. You know, although it, it has been an old adage for many, many years, sorry, in this country that many of them have been accused of corruption. Well, see, they talk about six, you know, illicit for um, that have been called. Well, well, we don't know who the six are for the illicit enrichment, you know, and it seems as if all six are concentrated in one particular party but i must commend you on your speech though i know you are struggling with the jamaican vernacular and just be trying to maintain the so-called i put in quotation status quo of being able to i guess you know paul says you know i become all things on unto all men that i might save some in other words paul had to know when he's at a certain city how to speak to the people how to dress so that they can uh, receive his message and understand his message you know he could be stiff like in a stiff jacket if he were going for example downtown Kingston he had to probably wear a t-shirt jeans and probably some shades and chipping at a patois and you know able to relate, relate to them not to say that he has to get vulgar but just be able to let the people know that him know certain of the slangs and the jargons and the fads you know that are okay to use and uh, I appreciated the speech today, to be very honest with you, Mr. Golding. I really appreciated your speech today. It felt sincere, and I said you had some things in your favor that would make it sincere. You don't really have corruption hanging over your head. And in your own, by your own words and based on your ancestry and even your present state, you really don't need to take from the people because you have your own i don't get you i don't get the feeling that you're a greedy man i don't get the feeling that you're avaricious so with that i don't think that you would necessarily need to steal from the people you know and i appreciate it as i said let me reiterate that you would want the blue collar workers so you know to become basically rich let's say rich not necessarily wealthy they would have to move from the richness to the wealth you know in and of themselves you want the income tax threshold to move to three million dollars um you, obviously you would want to see you know especially for the public sector workers you know because you mentioned about salaries and wages are poor i'm glad you said it because you must understand they are it's indigent it belongs in the sewer the present salaries that most public sector workers are getting it's atrocious um and i guess under your governance it would increase remember you know in this this present leading government um a, a member of it years ago long before we dreamt of covid stated that anyone earning under five hundred thousand dollars um i'm not sure if it was net or gross but it has to be it obviously has to be um gross gross is what after tax um that they're bare, barely scraping i can tell you the average Jamaican, even in public sector and private, perhaps they're not earning. Um, the net is which one? Net, net well, I mix them up now. Whichever one will before tax, um, they're not earning the five hundred thousand dollars before tax. They are not, and it is unfair because these people are competent, they're skilled, they're talented, they have the right attitude. You know, this country is just stingy and mean, don't want to pay people. And it re it reflects, you know, in, in companies. You see that stinginess and meanness in companies. And you see it in the, the lives of the Jamaicans, that stinginess and meanness. If they head bad, you know, the, the body will go bad too. Simple as that. Simple mathematics. And I appreciated you mentioning about early childhood education. I pray that the critical thinking skills is a must. It's compulsory, just like English and math, that they do well in English. They do well in math. You mentioned that. You talk about the recidivism rate, you know, people going back into the prison system, you know, over 40 percent, increasing the threshold to three million. Brilliant speech. Brilliant. I respected it greatly. I hope you mean every word you say. That's all I can say. Guys, follow me on TikTok. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this message.